What's going on, everybody? It's your boy L to the A, aka Lou, bringing you my top five women to watch out for in 2017. I personally can't rank these women from top to bottom, so what I'm gonna do now just do it from alphabetical order. Here we go. And kicking off this list is Rugby Seven's gold medalist Charlotte Caslick. Intense, hustler, and playmaker are just a few words to describe her. Where the ball was offensively or defensively, it seems like she's always there to make a play. So it's no surprise she was named 2016 World Rugby Women 7 Player of the Year. At only 21, she had her sights on competing in the next two Olympics, so it's safe to say Australia will be a force to be reckoned with. For some highlights of her, make sure you check the description box below. Switching gears now from the rugby field to television show and movies, next up is actress Jodelle Fairlin. At the age of 23, she already has about 67 TV shows and film credits to her name. Movies such as Midnight Stallion, Twilight Clips, and Silent Hill. And guest appearance on TV shows such as Smallville and Supernatural. In 2015, she added Sci-Fi's new hit show, Dark Matter, to her resume. After two seasons thus far, it's safe to say her character known as Fi has become a fan favorite and you can expect even bigger things in season 3 that comes out this year. Even though she's already a vet in this game, I think she's just stepping into her prime and can't wait to see what 2017 has in store for her. Still staying in the acting field, next up is Emba La V. At 30 years young, you might her guest star on TV shows such as Underemployed and The Last Ship. She also got a big break on the TV series Gang Relayed as Veronica Dotson. Even though it was a short-lived series and Fox should bring it back, it showed what kind of badass she could be and that carried over to her character Lieutenant Rabbit in The Last Ship. Now in 2017, Embar gets starring in her own TV show called Imposters, Aaron on Bravo, and will also make an appearance in the Prison Break sequel. Safe to say, 2017 is already looking good for her. From the red carpet to the octagon ring, next up is Angela Unstoppable Lee, a black belt in Taekwondo and TDS, also a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. As an amateur fighter, she started off at 3 0, and as a pro, she is currently 6 0. Her first five wins were via submissions, and the most recent six win went to decision when she faced off against Mei Yamaguchi for the inaugural one championship Am Weight Women's title. With that victory at age 19, she became the youngest MMA world champion in history for any major global MMA organization. Even though she signed an exclusive deal with one championship, it's only a matter of time until the UFC comes a knocking. From the octagon ring to the professional wrestling ring, last but not least, introducing Amanda Sacamano, aka Mandy Sachs, aka Mandy Rose. She is currently an NXT superstar. She placed first in the 2014 WBFF Diva Bikini Pro World Championships, and she made her debut into the WWE Universe via the competition show Tough Enough. Even though she placed second in disbelief to the judges, including myself, that didn't stop the WWE from signing her to a multi-year contract. While currently training at the WWE Performance Center and competing at NXT shows, it's only a matter of time before she gets the call up to Raw or SmackDown. And this concludes my video. If you want to know more information about these ladies, just check the description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. And if you have any comments, positive or negative, go ahead and leave me that feedback. Until next time, let's get this YouTube money. Y'all take care now. Laters.